In this lesson, you'll learn to include your CSS code in a different file. So that you don't have everything mixed up in one file like we do now. The way to include CSS in external files is to first of all, create a new file for CSS. So I'm gonna go to file, new file, save this file, and I'm gonna call it style.css. Next, I'm gonna grab the CSS code that we had, cut it, and get rid of the style tags. And I'm gonna put that code in here. The last part, um, as you probably imagine, needs to be to include this file somehow. So let's go and include this new file. We'll use the same link uh, tag, which is used to include um, external files in this case, um, but part particular cases like the CSS or the fav icon, but the rel in this case is gonna be style sheet. That's just what you type on the attribute and href will indicate the location of the file. In this case, the location of the file is on the same folder as the rest of uh, my page. Um, so if we now refresh the page, you'll see that our CSS is back because we're including it in an external file. Normally it's recommended to use C to put CSS in an external file so that you can work separately in different files and the project is just more manageable. Also, if more than one person is working on the project, it's easier to uh, work on different files in this manner. I'm gonna sh also show you another way of including CSS, which is not recommended. And this is to include CSS as, a, as an attribute. So you can add a style attribute in here and add CSS rules to it. For example, you could add color green. So in this case, we don't do a selection because we're already selecting by basically placing our style uh, attribute. So if we do that, see how this changed to green. Uh, but this is not recommended because you do want to have separation between the content and the presentation of the content. And that the best way to achieve that is by putting it in an external file. 